Hey, I'm Clara. Welcome back to No Can Do, where we believe you don't have to be an expert to try something new. I'm a furniture flipping beginner, and today I give this landfill bound TV stand a dramatic makeover. If you want to see how I did it, what it cost, what went well, and what went wrong, just keep watching. I got this TV stand off of Facebook Marketplace for $10. Instead of being painted, it had some sort of strange paper on it. There were chips and cracks, bumps, scratches, and even cat scratches that the previous owner had tried to cover up with Sharpie. I knew that this was going to be a very challenging makeover, especially for a beginner like me. This is going to be a beast of a project. I'm not sure if it's worth it, but we're going to find out. I'm gonna start by removing the hardware, which it's already pretty loose, that shouldn't be hard. I need to then remove the glass from here, but I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Maybe I can take it apart right here. I'm not really sure. I got masked up, got eye protection, and decided to use an orbital sander on the piece. I just went over it with uh, 80 or 100 grit sandpaper just to see if I could smooth things out a little bit. It looks like somebody's like cat or dog or something like clawed this. And instead of doing anything about it, um, this person just colored it with Sharpie. It's pretty dang janky. I kept sanding, but there were still a lot of cat claw marks. So I asked my dad for help with wood filler. So I'm using an, uh, an epoxy resin, so it dries real quick. Now I put on a little white dab of the epoxy. If you put a lot on there, it'll dry quicker and you don't have much time to play, or much room for air. So now I'm gonna mix the white in there with the gray. That's probably gonna be good. This is just a test run, uh -huh. nice and smooth, but it's gonna dry quickly and it's gonna be dry hard, uh -huh. and permanent. Thanks, Dad, and thanks, Mindwax Wood Filler. We put this all over the piece, tried to get it up in all of the claw marks, and then the bumps and scratches, and then just let it dry for a while. Basically, this is just particle board that has, like, strips of kind of, like, paper on it. It's, it wasn't even paint. I want to take out the glass, but... I can't find an easy way to do it. <laughs> you know what I'd do if I had a hammer? I'd, I'd hammer out justice. That's where I'd start. Oh. It was... Got it. Oh, no. I oh! Know... You gotta see this. Come here. Look at that. One down, one to go. The glass is out. Unfortunately, I wasn't as careful with this one. And, um coming undone which also shows me that I could have probably just done that in the first place somehow and not had to break the glass but what you gonna do the wood filler has dried it's nice and smooth I just went over it with the orbital sander and a light grain sandpaper to just get it nice and smooth I'm going to use a dry paintbrush just to dust off all the dust and then I will clean it I sanded down the whole piece was getting the hang of the orbital sander, was trying to get the wood glue off, and just basically the more time I spent looking at this piece, the more I discovered just what a disaster it was and how poor quality it was to begin with. I dusted off as much dust as I could just with a paintbrush, but it's still pretty bad. So now I'm gonna go through some water and a little bit of Dawn dish soap and try to get this thing clean. Time to paint. I got all my materials together and I used Rust-Oleum Chalked, chalk style paint in the color charcoal, which ended up being way more gray than black. Chalk style paint is very, very thick, so I mixed it up with a little bit of water and started painting my first coat.
gonna let the first coat dry on this overnight. I'm just gonna go ahead and take my paintbrush, stick it in a plastic bag, and seal it. The next day I went over to my good friend Audra's house and used her table saw on a table saw tutorial so that we could cut out little bits of the windows so that there would be a ledge in them that I could staple cane or burlap into. This proved to be way harder than I thought because we accidentally made a mistake and cut too much off of our first cut so we had to compensate for that. Audra is a super talented DIYer. She has an Instagram account, which I will link below. You should definitely go check out some of her home renovation projects. She's truly amazing. So we accidentally cut it off all the way when really we had just wanted to cut off this like front part of the lip, but no prob. We're just gonna make another cut into here so that it gets about halfway down and there's still a surface to staple into. a lot of mistakes but we had fun and I definitely learned measure twice cut once in the end we accomplished what we needed to accomplish and I was ready to head back home and paint it I brought the frames home, wiped them down, and cleaned them up. So I need to glue these corners together that came apart. Got wood glue, and I got some clamps. still a lot of issues and kind of bumpy spots or spots where the paper was coming off so I just gave it another quick sand and of course every time you sand you have to clean again finally I was ready to do my first coat of paint on the window frames While the window frames were drying, I taped up the rest of the hutch so I could get in to do some detail painting and did another layer of paint on the whole thing. Tried to do really long brush strokes so that they wouldn't overlap or have any brush marks show up on the piece but honestly it didn't work out and I was super frustrated with how they were showing up. So I let this dry for a few days and it looks all right but there's just so many streaks from the paintbrush. Um, there's kind of like some texture to it there's just so many imperfections i just don't feel great about it so this piece has been causing me stress so i'm gonna turn that stress into distress <laughs> i'm gonna distress this so instead of trying to have a little bit more of like a mid-century look and have it be really clean i'm just gonna own and embrace these horrible brush strokes and I'm going to go over it with a 180 grit sanding pad and just distress it a little bit in places it might naturally distress. I decided to abandon the sleek and modern finish I couldn't get and just go farmhouse instead. 
just tried to like kind of ding it up in places where it would naturally bump somewhere kind of just like on the edges on the sides and I think it looks pretty good I'll be using the Rust-Oleum chalked matte clear to protect it and seal it all in I went through and I applied a top coat all over the whole piece and at this point, I realized that I didn't actually want to put cane in the doors. I thought that would be such a cute look, but cane is super expensive, so I had to think about what my other options were. Then I went ahead and glued one of the legs back into place and got ready to assemble the doors. I picked up some burlap for cheap from Joanne Fabric and just used a hand staple gun to staple that into the lip. The lip that I had spent so much time getting to be there with my friend Audra and the table saw. I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> I am, as the kids say, shook. This looks so good. And just so, so much better. This piece was so much work, but it almost felt worth it seeing the before and after right next to each other. I staged it and got it ready to list on Facebook Marketplace. I listed it for $160. I got this trash bound TV stand for $10. I used Rust-Oleum chalked paint and a Rust-Oleum clear coat, which cost about $20 because I only used part of the cans. I spent about $5 on burlap and probably $10 on other materials like sandpaper. My total cost was $45 and I'm listing it for $160. That will be a profit of $115. I tried so many new things on this project. Using a table saw, using an orbital sander, using wood filler, painting with chalk paint, using a clear coat, breaking glass out of doors, and a lot more. If you have any questions, just type them down in the comments. I know what it's like to be a total beginner. I am a total beginner at this and I'd be happy to share anything I've learned with you so you don't make the same mistakes that I made. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments what is something new that you have tried or learned lately. I'd love to know. See you next time.